Now that the preparations are done, it's time to get started on your workpiece. Use a handsaw and cut the wood to the requisite size. Use a jack plane to plane the face side and the face edge flat. Use a tri square to check if the edges are cut square. If required, smoothen it further using a smoothing plane. Select the side free from blemishes and knots. Mark the face side and the face edge. All other measurements must be taken from either face side or face edge. For making the window frame, you'll need four pieces of wooden block according to the dimensions mentioned in the drawing. We will make this window using a corner bridle joint to join the four sides together, wherein the top and bottom pieces would work as the mortise members and the side frames will act as the tenon members. Measure and mark the points for the position of the joint for the mortise on the longer wooden piece on both the edges. Extend the lines all around the wooden piece using a tri-square and a sharp pencil. This will set the depth of the mortise. Similarly, mark the depth for the mortise on the other piece and extend the lines all around. Now mark the tenon. Similarly, measure and mark the points for the tenon onto the smaller wooden pieces and extend the lines all around. This will set the length of the tenon. Set a mortise marking gauge to the width of your chisel. Centralize the gauge and scribe a line on both sides of both the components. This will determine the thickness of the mortise and the tenon members. Always work from the same face of the workpiece to minimize any inaccuracies.
secure the mortise member vertically to the bench vise on the workbench. Start cutting with a handsaw along the scribed mortise lines. Ensure that you don't overrun the shoulder lines. Swap the member on the vise to the other side and cut out the mortise from the other side. Now cut the matching tenon. Similarly, cut out the tenons from the tenon member in the same fashion. Ensure you cut down on the waist side of the marked lines and take care not to cut beyond the cutting line. Then, secure the tenon member to the workbench with a G-clamp and cut down the remaining waist wood with a saw from both sides. When done, secure the mortise member to the workbench with a G-clamp and clear off the remaining wastewood from the slot with a sharp mortise chisel and square off the base. Clean up the tenon from both sides with a sharp bevel edge chisel. Similarly, use the same process for carving out the bridle joints on all the four corners.
bring all the pieces together and fix it temporarily to make sure that all four joints are flush fit. Make any necessary adjustments with the chisel if required. Once you are satisfied with the joints, apply adhesives and join them together. Apply some glue evenly on the joining parts with a brush. and fix them together one by one. Tap them lightly with a mallet to align properly. Hold it with a T-bar clamp to apply pressure. Ensure that all four corners are at 90 degrees angle with the help of a tri-square. Now drill some holes over the joints and insert dowel pins into them with a hammer. Chisel out the extra wood from the inserted dowel pins. Then, cut out the extra wood remaining on the corners of the joints with a handsaw.
smoothen the surface of the frame with a smoothing plane. And mark the inner and outer sides for your reference. Your window frame is ready now. Now we need to fix the glass onto the window pane. To do this, we need some flat wooden strips and a glass piece cut to size. Take the measurement of the length from the inner edges and cut the strips to size. Give the edges a mitre cut to get a 90 degree angle joint on both the ends of all the strips. Ensure they align perfectly. If required, smoothen it further with a smoothing plane. Once all the strips are ready in place, fix them on the inner side of the frame. Apply some glue to the strip and fix them with some wire nails on the center line of the window frame on top, bottom and sides from the inner side.
this will be the supporting edge for the glass to be placed on. Now turn the frame to the outside and place the glass over it. The strips fixed holds the glass in place from one side. Then place the other set of four strips from the outer side. and tap them lightly with a mallet to fit in. Hammer some wire nails to fix it tight. If required, use a smoothing plane to smoothen the edges of the strips. Do not apply glue to these strips as you can remove them easily if required for any repairs. Your basic window is now ready. Let's quickly look at the procedures once again. Step 1. Cut the wooden pieces to the requisite size. Step 2. Marking the layout for the bridle joint, mortise. Step 3. Marking the layout for the bridle joint, tenons. Step 4. Cutting out and carving the bridle joints. Step 5. Dry fit and check the trueness. Step 6. Apply glue and assemble the pieces together. Step 7. Fixing the glass to the window. 